stitching time. A pleasant moment to you all. Welcome to your favorite show, A Stitching Time, where we have a broad discussion on the advantages of doing the right thing at the right time. Hi, I am Elijah Tenju Show. Hello, everyone. My name is Musayo Taiwo. And on this program today, we'll be sharing the importance of skill acquisition for self reliance and job creation. So, on today's program, we'll be delving into the importance of skill acquisition for youths. We need to understand that the world is evolving and the world does not only like searching for a job or getting a job this era does not have to do with your certificate alone it has to do with whatever you have to offer those that want to employ you or what you have to offer the world so today we have a special guest in our midst that is going to be explaining or giving us more details about skill acquisition yes on the program with us today is mr olutola ebu selume he's a student journalist of the federal polytechnic in Lahu and he's also a content fighter Thanks for allowing our invitation, sir. We are glad to have you. Thank you for having Today on the program, Mr. Ibu Selume will be enlightening us on the importance of acquiring skill at an early age. You are welcome, sir. Right. Yes, sir. My first question to, to you is that what is the meaning of skill acquisition? What do we mean by skill acquisition? Uh, basically, simple things. Uh, skill acquisition means the acquisition of talent and expertise through education and experience. And usually, this is a uh, broad or uh, subdivided into two main perspectives and that is soft skill and hard skill okay. hard skill uh, means uh, having uh, needing to actually have hands-on training okay. on that particular skill meanwhile soft skill is the opposite of hard skill okay so can you please explain more about the soft skill like yes, you've sir. brushed about you've brushed that hard skill so can you please explain more of that soft skill okay soft skill basically does not need hands-on training on it because it's uh, sort of has to do with the individual's ability to grasp the uh, concept and deliver. For example, communication, critical thinking, uh, anal analysis, like giving analysis and mm -hmm. also critiquing. So these are some of the soft skills that we have. You don't need to uh, sit down and be thought, okay, this is how to analyze and this is how to do this, or this is how to uh, measure something uh, unlike hard skills. So that's basically what soft skill is. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. But on our topic today, well, we're talking about importance of skill acquisition. acquisition. So uh, our second question is, how do you think skill acquisition can help youths or individual like in their early life when youths or individual have access or gain skill acquisition at a very early age like how important do you think it is to to their lives or to our lives yeah, okay as a youth yes and even a teenager one who is still in formative years mm -hmm. skill acquisition can help us or help such an individual tremendously it can help them navigate through their uh, career path it can also help them find their innate uh, calling. You understand? Okay. Just like you said earlier on when you were opening this session, yes. you said that uh, we are going to a situation whereby you may not need to necessarily work with your certificate or work with uh, things yes. that you have studied. Yes. 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 So uh, the world is a global village nowadays, and as a result of globalization and international networking, people now look for individuals who have soft skills. You understand? Especially soft skills. Yeah. So as a youth you can harness and tap into this niche into this uh, career path okay. and develop yourself and that way you can make money even from a tender age and you don't necessarily need to go through the uh, normal career path of going to school for four years for, or going uh, to school for six years in order to start looking for a job uh, earlier in life uh, later in life rather all right thank you so much all right sir earlier sir you mentioned that we have hard skill and soft skill so i want to ask you that like between this hard skill and soft skill which one can you advise the youth to venture into? Is it the hard skill or the soft one? Or they can venture into any of the two? Which one do you advise? Well, I think uh, it has to do with the individual's passion and okay. what the individual wants in life. You see, that is a reason why it is advisable for individuals to know what they want early in life so that they can pursue uh, exactly what, what it is they, they want. want. You understand? So, uh, soft skill does it, it's not really capital intensive. In the sense that you can just sit within the corner of your room uh, through Coursera and various online platforms and learn stuff about critical analysis, stuff, learn stuff about uh, content writing and all these things. So uh, for a Nigerian who does not really have capital or who does not really have the financial resources and you, are, of course, data is now cheap. You understand? It is easier for you to delve into soft skill acquisition. 
uh, unlike the uh, hard skill, which requires a lot of money and requires probably showing up to a place uh, at a certain time. Certain time. You understand? From, okay, they say come to the office from 6 mm. to 8 to come and learn this and that. So I think um, for a Nigerian, especially one in this um, part Era, of the world, yeah. mm. soft skill is a way to go. Soft skill? Yes. Okay. Soft skill. By, and um, I hope you are all listening and um, learning something because he said before you can venture into any skill, you need okay. to know yourself. Yes. All right. So our my other question, how can we tell parents or what can we tell parents or what can you tell parents who are still reluctant about their kids or their word venturing into skill acquisition? Yes. At an early age, to be precise. Yes, that you feel like mm, the child is still early. Let's let's see or she focus on his education. education. So, what can you? What advice do you have for parents like that? I think if there's any parents like that in this day and age, uh, that parent is grossly mistaken and um, you know, is uh, ignorant to an extent. Because when you look at the world today, when you look at other countries, developed countries, you look at uh, Europe, you look like uh, you look at uh, uh, countries in the, uh, in uh, Asia, especially the Asian Tigers, Taiwan, okay. China, Singapore, and like Japan. You see what their children and what uh, their younger generation doing. is doing now. You understand that even we as uh, Nigerians or parents, uh, especially, we need to understand that our, our children should be allowed to explore. Okay. You understand? Explore in a positive way. That mm -hmm. is, you as a parent should encourage your child. First and foremost, know their wire, know that, okay. My child tends to do this. Yes. My child What's is good in math. Likes you understand? Doing. Yes. My child likes this. My child likes that. And for that reason, sort of look for an avenue whereby you can uh, build that uh, behavioral pattern. You understand? You can, uh, 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 yes, you can build that behavioral pattern and see that the child grows in that particular uh, niche or area. For example, you can begin to look for uh, programs online. For example, YouTube. I look for a program on YouTube where you uh, you feel okay. This is suitable for my child's Child age range, watch, okay. and that way you, you can build uh, skills like uh, mathematics, uh, ana uh, critical analysis. You can even communication. You understand? This will help your child and uh, grow him or her in whatever skill uh, you want him or her to learn, or you have feel, uh, you have picked that okay. This is uh, what the child is good at. Okay. All right. So for the skill acquisition, examples of the skill acquisition they are actually giving us, they are physical analysis, yes, communication. communication. Okay, so what of skills like addressing, tailoring, barbing? Are they not part of all yes, those skills are, you are, are mentioning? Just like I, I defined earlier, there are examples of hard skills. Hard skills. Okay. Exa examples of hard skills. We also have others like computer programming. Okay. Understand? We have um, code genetical hacking. So these things require hands-on training. Yeah. You have to sort of have a mentor, someone who will be guiding you through the ropes. You understand? In order for you to uh, grow and advance in that career, in that stage, you understand? All right. All right, viewers. That's a great one by Mr. Ibu Selome Olutola. You are still watching a stitch in time where we give you the advantages of doing the right thing at the right time. So, sir, lastly, sir, we just want to ask you that. What is your parting words for the youth? Like, what advice do you have to give to the youth? Yes, what of encouragement for this, youth in this generation? that are still reluctant yes. to go into skill acquisition, either soft or hard? Okay, I must indicates that uh, whether you like it or not, the world is advancing. And uh, sooner or later, if you uh, play away your early days, you'll find out that uh, you have been left behind. Yeah. So when uh, others in other parts of the world, other individuals in other parts of the world are waking up to take uh, life into their hands and you are just whiling away your time or you are uh, you colonizing you are still young. You understand? Yes. If you are still young, you are colonizing and trivializing things. You will be shocked that when you are 30, 35, and you are not so uh, interested in the cruise and in the, you know, in the fantasy or chasing after all these uh, frivolous things. When you are no longer uh, in that world anymore, you see that you would have been left behind. And so my advice for the youth is that they should wake up and begin to take their lives into their hands and learn something today, basically. Learn something today. Uh, uh, the money and the time spent learning something is never wasted rather yeah. it is invested Ooh, and okay. you will reap it one way or the other or one way or the other in the future Thank okay you so much. that's a great one by mr ibu salome holotola he said the money you spent into learning a skill is not wasted but you are definitely going to reap that money in the future that'll be the end of our discussion today although i wish we could continue but time is not on our part next week you are going to enjoy as we are going to be diving into a more 
interesting topic. I remain Elijah T. Joshua. Remember, it's teaching time saves life. My name is Bissau Taiwo. Bye for now. Thank you. Stitch in time.